All right, everybody, welcome to our week three of our course, uh, 1101, Comp and Rhetoric. And what we've just turned in, um, as of you all viewing this video, which will either be Monday, Labor Day, should you choose, I believe the college is off, or Tuesday, the following day, uh, you will have completed and turned in your narrative essay. The first essay for the course, um, now one thing I will say about that, unless I'm mistaken, I don't recall anybody consulting me or reaching out to me pertaining to um, reading over a rough draft uh, by the, the, the due date. Remember, we have kind of a, a, a rough due date for rough drafts. Um, usually, during the week, I'll ask you to submit a rough draft again voluntary. You don't have to do that. But should you want to, you need to do that no later than the Thursday, just before the weekend during which the essay is due. Okay. I think I had one of a uh, student in our class submit an essay for review Friday or Saturday. Um, and, you know, w weekends are kind of off limits for things like that, unless it's a, a, an emergency, you need me to attend to something. Uh, plus, I'm usually doing uh, other things during the weekend to grading and such. And so I, I, I time things out according to, you know, these dates I notify you guys about. So I'm, I'm expecting if you want to turn in a, a rough draft, I'm expecting to see it in my inbox uh, that, you know, the Monday through at the latest that Thursday. So uh, remember, submitting a rough draft is a good idea because it allows me to kind of give you any counsel or general comments, suggestions, uh, points of advice so that you can improve and submit a more quality final draft. Okay, so uh, I will see how we did on those narrative essays. There is a, a rubric that when you guys receive your grades back, you will see the rubric um, the points, uh, the categories, uh, the categories, by the way, are content, uh, structure and organization, uh, language, and format, okay? And each is 25 points apiece, 25 times 4 being 100, okay? So I will hand those uh, narratives back to you. There is a two-week limit uh, time window during which grading takes place for essays, whereas class homework assignments are typically turned around within a week of the due date. So in two weeks, guys, you could expect it back. Um, so what is on tap for this week? Well, for this week, what you have to do are our uh, new batch of uh, SCC questions, uh, successful uh, college composition uh, the court, the main course text labeled the textbook on the left-hand side of the menu once you're in our class in Blackboard. Uh, this is chapter 3, 2. So remember, chapter 3 is modes of discourse. Our first mode in 3, 1 was narration. Now we're moving on to 3, 2, which is description. Okay? So you, you have two essays to read um, uh, also in uh, the reader. Uh, descriptive essays as well. But first, let's talk about the SCC exercises. Um, one of the exercises asks you to describe, I think it's five things. Uh, one is night, one is the beach, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And sometimes students have confusion about this assignment. They typically ask, do I have to write a paragraph for each of the categories? Write a paragraph describing night, write a paragraph describing the beach, etc. But you don't have to do that, okay? All you need to do is write a single paragraph that incorporates all of those ideas in one cohesive paragraph, okay? So your paragraph will contain presumably, say, one, two, three sentences describing night, one, two, three sentences describing the beach, etc., 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 okay? So I just want to clear up any confusion uh, there. Um, and then you all are asked to come up with an ordering principle, I believe. Let's actually go ahead and I'm going to refer to the text as I have it right in front of me here. 
just so that I'm not missing anything. So yes, we are in 3-2, which is description. Yes, you have exercises four and five. Right, exercise four gives you five topics. Night, beach, city, dinner, stranger. You describe each of those things uh, in one paragraph. So one paragraph will contain those five things, okay? And then five, you then choose an organizing strategy uh, for which to... Uh, write a paragraph containing these concepts. Train station, your office, your car, a coffee shop, lobby of a movie theater, and then a mystery option. Okay. And or, uh, uh, organization, everybody, when we're talking about that, when it's talking about an organizing strategy, all you need to do is refer to the paragraph that comes right before exercise five. That paragraph is in the section, The Structure of a Description Essay. And the paragraph I'm referring to you to begins with, the organization of the essay may best follow spatial order, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it, it's telling you how you could organize your essay. How do you do it? Do you uh, follow an organizing principle, principle like spatial order, which means an arrangement of ideas according to physical characteristics or, appear, or, or appearance, okay? The organization could move from top to bottom, left to right, near to far, warm to cold, frightening to inviting, and so on. For example, if the subject were a client's kitchen in the midst of renovation, you might start at one side of the room and move slowly across to the other end, describing appliances, cabinetry, and so on. Or you might choose to start with older remnants of the kitchen and progress to the new installations, or maybe start with the floor and move up towards the ceiling. Okay, so I just read uh, the structure of a description essay there from SCC. Okay, so exercises four and five, three, two in SCC, and then two essays, one by E.B. White, Once More to the Lake. That one is a personal favorite of mine. And then one by Bik Min uh, Nguyen called Goodbye to My Twinkie Days, all about assimilating into the greater American culture uh, as an Asian uh, immigrant. And the vehicle for that is the consumption of the snack cake, the Twinkie. Interesting essay as well. Um, E.B. White, you might know, wrote Stuart Little and Charlotte's Web. Uh, and the essay, Once More to uh, the Lake, is beautiful. Uh, highly descriptive, a lot of images. Uh, so I hope you all maybe learn something from that one and maybe use it as inspiration for your next essay, the descriptive essay, which is going to be due on the 15th. Okay? So, pardon me. Expect your narrative essays back in two weeks. Okay? Number one. Number two, you have your SCC exercises four and five in the description chapter. Then in the reader, you have the two essays in our description chapter. E.B. White's Once More to the Lake and Bickman Nguyen's Goodbye to My Twinkie Days. And then in addition, the final thing you have to do this week is something called a journal. Journals have their own folder in Blackboard. All you do is click on the journal folder and then go to the journal entry and the journal is about narrative narration we're going to have journals at the end of each of our units and the journal is just a space for you guys uh to reflect on your experience uh of writing your narrative um also you're talking about why in your view narration storytelling is so crucial to the human experience to being a human being why do we have to tell stories why do we use stories as a way to um, enhance our uh, interconnectivity as people? Um, what do you learn about someone by hearing their story? Okay, so I, I provide the instructions there, and basically you're writing like a little journal entry. Okay, and this one is graded, unlike the blogs that are voluntary and go towards your uh, final paper bonus points. The journals are compulsory. They are mandatory. You must do them if you want to receive a grade of 100 or 
receive a grade. Hopefully you get 100. Uh, hundreds aren't given out like uh, freebies, though. Um, but to get full credit for this assignment, you have to write a multi-paragraph, two to three paragraphs, uh, focusing on that uh, general set of instructions I just uh, talked about. But when you guys go to the journal, you'll see the actual instructions there. So SCC, exercises four and five for description, then the two essays in the reader, and the journal. Three assignments due this week, all due Sunday the 8th. Okay? So I'm going to sign off with you all uh, uh, this uh, Sunday evening, 9-1-2019. Hope you all have a nice Labor Day or have had a nice Labor Day whenever you're seeing this. And uh, have a good week, everyone. See you next week. Bye.